right, so I'm gonna be doing some immobilizer swapping today. This is the GE ECU right here. We're gonna be taking the immobilizer chip out, IC900. We'll be taking that out, run that in. One JT ECU has the immobilizer, and I don't have the key for this ECU, so um, I have to use my chip that I have my key for. Since I'm doing a 1JZ swap, um, I don't have any non-immobilized ECUs, so we're going to see if this works. So then, um, using this for flux, um, we'll just use this paste. So we're going to paste it on each side. So you see it, um, on each side has four, four connectors make sure you always mark you see this one that has the pin on the top so that's your number one pin so make sure it goes the same way when you take it off so what I'm doing now is I pasted this on each side this is the flux um, before we use our wire and iron to lay a a little bit on each side so just to warm it up so you'll lay the flux down first before you put a solder on it all right so now that i got it off i have to clean all these pads make sure you don't lose your chip there's one there's other so that's the one i don't need this is the one i need so obviously we're gonna have to get all the solder back off of it um but anyways before you do that let's clean, let's clean these pads up um, kind of leaves like a little residue on it. Hopefully I didn't burn that pad up, but let's, let's um, see. You're going to take a copper wire because I don't have a uh, desoldering wick. Uh, you're going to put some flux on each side pad. You're going to take your soldering iron and place it right on top of the copper wire. And it should absorb all the solder. Just like, just like you see right here in the, in the video. I don't know if you guys not focusing but um the tip of this wire it's silver and that's all the solder that gets absorbed up onto the wire so yeah just use that and clean it up as you can see i got the chip on i did the first one right here it's the first bead and then i did the second one at the end of this one um i guess i'm gonna do all of them i'm not sure yet well, pretty ugly, but all four of them are connected and not touching. So we're going to send it, gentlemen. We're going to see how that goes. All right, so my car is a 2002. Um, I am using a JZX 110 engine and engine harness as long as the ECU. It's all, all the same. Um, for the 2002 to 2005, um, this is your body harness. Um, this is what you get all your connections from my like, throttle body. This is the ETC, as you can see, ETC SI. That's the power to the throttle body. That's blue and white. Um, this ignition switch, that's orange and black. Um, plus B power, battery power, um, plus B2, so both of those are red and black, and then we have BATT, and that's constant, I think, and that's black and yellow, and then we have main relay, main relay is black and orange, and then we have STA, I think that is starter signal. And that I think is solid black. Let me make sure. Yes, solid black for STA. And then that is for this is the E3 plug. So you'll have an E3 plug, and then you'll have an E4 plug. And you'll see this on the diagram. You'll see where it says E3 and then it says E4 
Um, so yeah, you just label all of these and you pretty much match them up to here. As you can see, I mean, it all says the same stuff. They're pretty much all the same colors, like B-A-T-T's, like I said, was yellow and black, or sorry, black and yellow, right here. Um, main relay, B1, and then B2. So what you're going to do is pretty much splice, or if you want to repin them, I'm not going to repin them, but I'm going to just cut and splice these wires into here. Um, I think most of the colors do match, but some of them don't, so don't be alarmed. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know when we're done. What I'll be using is just regular 22-18 gauge butt connectors. Um, I just bought some different sizes just in case, you never know. Um, and got some heat shrink with these butt connectors to connect. This, for instance, BATT. Uh, yellow and black wire with BATT, which is right here. Yellow and black wire. So you'll cut it, um, strip the wires on both sides, uh, butt connect it, one to here, one to there. And before you connect both sides, though, make sure you slip the heat shrink over this so you can slip it over. And All right, so after I got done crimping it together, this is BATT once again constant um as you can see this is what i was talking about you don't want to slide the heat shrink right over it i should have cut it a little bit longer and that's what i'll probably do and just redo this wire i'm just showing you guys how to do it but literally slide it over like that and then you'll heat it up with a lighter or a torch whatever you got uh, and then it'll shrink to it and be nice and tight I know some of you guys are going to hate, you know, that I'm using butt connectors and you should say, or, you know, I should be soldering it or whatever the case may be, but I don't like soldering, honestly. It, it just it never works out for me. It looks sloppy to me. I don't want to use tape and I feel like this is going to hold up a lot better. I'm going to zip tie all of it together and once I got all of them connected, you know, I'm going to tape up and, you know, make it look clean so it's not all loose. It's not going to just come apart, you know. So, I think it'll be fine. Um, if you don't like doing this with butt connectors, then I advise you just to maybe solder it or take your harness and maybe go have someone else do it for you. But this is how I'm doing it, okay? Alright, so your harness should look something somewhere like this. Right, so these are your main ones right here. You can go through them again. So we got B A T T we have plus B2. And we have this should be plus B1. So plus B1 and plus B2 are both red and black. And then B A T T goes black and yellow, black and yellow. Um, this BM, that is ETC SI, that is the turn on for the throttle body. Make sure that is connected to blue and white. So pink with blue and white. Your diagram should show you all the pinouts for your body harness. So I'm just going to have to go through the body or the diagram and match everything up. So MREL's main relay, once again, that is black, solid, with black. Um, that's it for this, this one. Uh, another thing you are going to have to wire up is STA. So that's green with green. Um, this is tack. You don't have to wire this up to get it running, but it's solid white with solid white. Alright. Um, these are for the immobilizer. You don't have to worry about the immobilizer because I'm running immobilizer, so all these have to be, 
if you're gonna run the immobilizer and do the immobilizer swap from your old GE ECU to the one GE ECU, you're gonna have to wire this up. So we have the code, we have RX, and we should have TX. TX is actually this blue one right here. This is TX. Um, this is ground. And one of these should be the security light that goes to the dashboard that blinks to show you what we need. I go.